I'd like to take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, War Robots. War Robots is tactical 6v6 PvP multiplayer robot combat. You can choose from a lot of different robots to define your gameplay and find one that fits you. A little bit of fast-paced third-person pew-pewing coupled with raw strategy or strategery. And check out them 3D graphics, oh yeah. No wonder over 70 million players have already installed the game. And they pump out constant content updates with new robots, maps, and game mods. Download War Robots through the link in the description and get a starter pack, including the GI Patton robot in a unique skin for it, four Punisher machine guns, 100 gold, and 400,000 silver. Thanks again to War Robots for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to download the app, there'll be a link in the description box below. That is all of the video footage I collected for the Nerf Mega Thunderhawk. At the 2018 Toy Fair, the Thunderhawk is coming in fall of 2018 for a retail cost of $49.99, or about $50. US The Thunderhawk is a spring-powered, sort of like a bolt-action primed system that feeds with an integrated clip system. It reminds me of the Centurion, but it doesn't work with the magazine and the ergonomics are different. I didn't get a confirmation on this, but I imagine this will replace the Centurion because both of them, I, I can't imagine both of them existing. Can't imagine either of them existing, but they do. So, okay, maybe they can both exist, I don't know. The flashy gimmicky thing of the Thunderhawk is the expandable barrel. You don't have to screw anything on or thread it on. It's built into the blaster. You grab it and you just pull and it gets bigger. I was a little surprised that there's no button or release on this. You don't push anything then pull. You can just pull and friction allows you to pull it apart. And that immediately concerned me. So naturally I picked it up and shook it a bunch and I couldn't get the barrel to fall. So the locking system works pretty well. Tight enough to stay in there, but then loose enough to be able to grab and pull out when you need it longer. When you need it longer. Not the right choice of words there, Franklin. You never need a stupid piece of plastic in front of your barrel. Unless you're going for the tactics, fine. I need to look tactical. Then, boom, you, you whip out your barrel, you add a bigger scope, boom, tactics, bro. That's how that works. The Thunderhawk is also the first blaster featuring the Mega Accustrike darts, which are an Accustrike dart mega style, just bigger. I was focusing almost entirely on the blaster, feeling how the action moves, so I don't actually remember if they were any more or less accurate than other darts. But of course, I'll test the Accustrike mega darts when I get a review sample in the studio. Things that surprised me, it has a built-in bipod instead of a detachable one, like the Raptor Strike in the Accustrike line or the Centurion. You know, they have attachable bipods. This one is built in, not sure why. And also the rail is attached to the moving barrel. I mentioned this to everybody that would listen to me that works for Hasbro to say like, this is weird. Like first the Raptor strike, come on guys. Nobody gave me a straight answer. They were all kind of like evading the question. It's trying to straight up be like, you guys messed up the Raptor strike, bro. Like put a rail on that. It's a sniper rifle. But everybody kept avoiding me and I guess I got distracted with a different blaster and stopped hounding them. But they did weird stuff with the rail of the Thunderhawk as well, because it's so clearly a sniper rifle. When you extend the barrel, you're definitely in sniper rifle mode, but you move the rail away from you as well. When you're using anything like sniper-ish, when you're holding it here, you want your scope to be like near your eye. When you expand the Thunderhawk barrel, the, the top rail moves as well. There's only one top rail and it moves really far away. So your scope will be equivalent to like right there. And that's so not sniper status. So like what the F? For the Thunderhawk, they totally could have hacked up the top, fixed the rail, and then had the rest of it slide around the rail. That could have worked to have your scope right there. Or a sliding rail that reveals more rails. So then you could put on a bunch of scopes. Boom, that would be the best solution ever. That wasn't written down, I just thought of that. Yeah, yeah, improv, bruh. The integrated clip system, it is a clip, it's not a magazine, I'm not misusing that phrase. But the use of that clip system really surprised me, and I mentioned that in my speculation video. It did feed reliably from what I could see. One of the Nerf guys did say they were having some issues with some squibs or some darts that were like bouncing off the fake wall in the extended mode. But from what I could see, it was like rotating through the blaster well, which given the size of that thing, I think is mechanical, like good job. Go Hasbro engineers. It's an air high five, not like an assault. Now, if you're gonna do a clip like this, I kind of like that it's built in because the Battle Scout would like fly out of you and it could be annoying if you're running and your clip like jumps out of your blaster and you're like, well, damn it, now I have a blaster. And it only came with one. They don't sell them separately. So that's my only one and it's way back there. And now a horde of zombies are surrounded and I'm unarmed. So this solves that problem because when it gets to the end, it just locks. So then you can push it back and you cannot pull it out of the blaster. But it's also a horizontal feeding clip, which is just super bulky, so. Okay, I guess somebody just wanted to stray away like different than the Centurion, and that's certainly different. To be honest, if it used a magazine, I wouldn't use it anyway, so maybe they're hitting a new market. I don't know. This speculation is turning into like rambling, not proper speculation. So that's pretty much all the real information and opinions I have on the Mega Thunderhawk. The main thing I'm excited about with this blaster is the AccuStrike Mega Darts. If you can make a Mega Dart more accurate, it'll be cool. I'll probably still stick to Micro Darts or standard Nerf Darts, but it's always better to hit stuff instead of miss stuff, so go AccuStrike. That concludes all of my footage, my opinion, and analysis on the Nerf Mega Thunder. Hawk. This was just a preview at the Toy Fair 2018. I'll of course publish a review on my channel when I get a test sample down the road. This blaster isn't out yet. That concludes this preview. Thanks so much for watching bros and as always, stay tactical.